Welcome back to yet another wrestling with Ski. Mm-hmm. And I'm balding. And he's got some great eyebrow movement. Mm-hmm. I could do it with my nostrils though. How much muscle do I have? Like, what's the best shape of your body? My nose. <laughs> hey, there's to make a character out of that. Hell, he made a character out of draw, a puke. He tried to make a character out of it. He could make a character out of it. Like, what can you do? But hopefully, hopefully he does not own the rights to this guy. Don't say that. See, why do you even say it? Like, just don't say it. I didn't say it. I just showed an action figure. <laughs> We said hopefully he doesn't earn the rights to this guy. I didn't say it. You said it. I mean, I, I didn't say the name. No, you did show its face. So it's, it's, a, it's a Mattel action figure. Will be. Don't get me going. Just saying. So, shocking title wins or or surprising title wins, I should say. Uh, you know that. Fine, I'll change got the a, surprise. Got, got a got a good uh, a good reaction out of the fans, I should say. Oh, oh, those. Well, all the ones I can think about. Well, no, sorry, those are unnecessary title runs. I guess it was shocking for my list because they were just that bad. And it was like, I meant shocking as in a yeah, good, good take from from the fans. Yeah, yeah good hey. thing. <laughs> well, hey, there's two kinds of shocking. There's all yeah, and then there's. Really? <laughs> people are pulling out their G207 pilot pens getting ready to just stab people in the neck. Some of them really wear that bad, but at least you have a positive thing. Just like my shirt. Nice. Back, before, back before she lost her mind. Really? With Lily. This guy. Well, I was going on Lily because it rhymed really with Lily. Mm-hmm. And then there's this guy. No, well, there yeah. went that. Tried to be a poet. That was taken from me. Just like everybody in Liam Neeson's life, between his great love, his family and taken, you know, his son was taken from him too early in that movie when he was driving the plow truck going around just killing people, whatever. I mean, like good franchise though. I mean, like in all the movies, something seems to be taken from other he's in Batman, he's in that movie when he's driving the plow, he's yeah, taken. Now, now that you mention it, it's like, yeah, he's lost a lot. Can, can you just stop taking things from him? And here's a go. Well, we'll do a movie. Where no one takes anything from Liam Neeson. He's just sitting like a coffee cup. Just, ah, thank you, God. Just happy. Until something gets taken. <laughs> Until someone, like, steals his coffee pot. Son of a bitch. And they probably so, could make a whole movie on that, too. And he just goes and just start killing everyone in his path. Yeah. I'm okay well, with that, actually. Well, maybe blows up a, a, a warehouse full of carries. Yeah, I don't know. Make good TV. Just let me get one more. I need a coffee pot in here because we'd be like recording. What are you doing? Loading my pod. What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm in a bad mood. I need coffee. Yep. Like, what are you doing? Yeah. That'd be great. But on to it. What's number one? Be- Please be good. Well, the, first, the first one I have, which was very well deserving, um, you said it uh, a lot of times Jeff Hardy, WWE title, not world title, WWE title. Um, that really, you know, once and he got that, that happened, one off, that was one he wanted to beat Edge for, right? In the triple threat with Triple H. Yeah, I think that was one thing. I think no. that was it. No, if I'm wrong, let yeah. me know, but I'm, but I swore he had the world title with Punk. I swear that was with the world title stuff was what he did with Punk when he for, finally left. Punk had that one. And he didn't yeah. get and he didn't get the WWE. No, but spinner this was until, this, this was yeah. this was the, yeah, that this was the spinner belt. Yeah. That was that one. If you look that, that way. That was that was it, turn your head to the right and backwards. It's that one. I didn't say your camera, I just said your head. Let's see that one right there. See, I know what's behind them, people. I never even been there. I just know things. I'm like the dude from Game of Thrones, except I'm not three and a half feet tall. But I drink. And I do know things. So I think that was that one. And that was, I mean, that was great. Like, this is yeah. why I hate seeing what they're doing. Like, he's more than an enhancement guy. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know. 
Um, but that title reign, like, and you saw his reaction. I mean, that was just pure. You know, you know who could have a, a really good storyline with him and if he really wanted to get personable about things? I mean, not the whole stupid shame is drunken bar fight. This guy. I'm just saying, that would make a really good person. You see, like, it was sad. If we're going to go on that, the Seamus and Jeff thing. And I told, I didn't, t- like, I didn't talk to you about it. Like, you know, 2020, like, that was just a bad year. For most, I mean, I was in a wheelchair going, this is stupid. But, like, because it was just too close to home. Like, we know he's had a lot of demons. Like, we already went over, and we already went over this with Punk. Like, yeah. But I'm just saying, like, that that would, you know. Well, I just how, know when it came back, but he could have yeah. a really good story but with you, him but and you just know, bring up so like much. When Bray, when, when Bray had that only appearance yeah. after WrestleMania saying he was born again, that yeah. really, yeah. really I'm saying like, They could really, <laughs> no, I'm saying they could really, I get where you're coming from. Yeah. That. Nero could suddenly show up. I'd like to see that too. I'm saying that could be another yeah. spin. Like, but they could do something with the two of those, and that could be yeah. really, really. Good. I think it could go as well, just as well as what Matt and Bray went as leader of world. It's amazing, by the way. Yeah. Didn't see that one coming at all. Mowers of lawn. It's still one of the best shirts. Chair of wheels. Mower of lawn. Yeah. I mean, you're sitting there looking at just believing it too. Yeah. Looking like he's getting off while he's riding the lawnmower. We, if we ever do a top 10 shirt episode that, mo- yep, Mowers of Lawns is up there just because it has Matt Hardy on a lawnmower. Yeah. I'm like he's getting off. Yeah. That was great, by the way. Yeah. Glad they'd let him do that. But that was a great I think they could do something. Um yeah. And again, the, by, by the time he got that, I mean in WWE's defense, I mean he had that singles push before he went for you know whatever the hell it was, Swanton or whatever yeah. off the ladder missed R V D or whoever it was, got yeah. hurt, put him back in the tech top. But at the same time he still had that match with like matches with RVD, he had matches. The latter match would take her. Like yeah. If he just got out of his own way, he would have been a million time champion. Oh yeah, no doubt. Like he would have been that guy. Yeah, like a five or six time, really. And if he had the like the heart for it, like if he didn't have yeah. other things, like wrestling was Matt's end all be all. Like if he had that with his charisma, yeah. he would have been the biggest thing they ever saw. He he, he racked a discipline. Yeah. Well, I mean, and look at that though. He liked you know he also like not just the discipline because look at Randy and all of his like a discipline forever. He still had title runs. Yeah. Lots of title runs. Um, but he had like Jeff had like you know, whatever run, I don't care. Like, but I'll go home and ride dirt bikes and paint. Like, I don't care. Because he had other things that like you like yeah. was never if it was his end all be all, like Matt, with his yeah. charisma, he could have been a million time champion. And when it finally happened and you saw him flipping rolling all over the place, yeah. 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 Which he does with all of them. But I mean, he got his big fireworks show afterwards. He had a hell of a run there, too. I mean, like he had yeah. good program, and him and punk was amazing. Like Watch that steel cage match. Like, it was great. Like, all of this stuff, and he was champion, yeah. finally. Because it was, like, so long in the making. Yeah. And, by the way, Matt only got an EC, a redone ECW title, which shows you, again, we're all right. We all yeah. knew who the bigger guy was. No offense to the ECW title. Sorry, Matt. But, but uh, were, sorry, Matt, but you were the Marty Genetic. But uh, this went. one, this one's prettier. Way bigger than that big silver pile of garbage that they get. This is the ECW belt. This one, right here. That, that's better. That's better than the than the one on the Night of Champions banner that they took the cruiserweight title and put ECW over the over the. Yeah, you ever you ever see that meme where yeah, two thousand eight Night of Champions. They were so lazy they took the WWE cruiserweight title and just put ECW over the WWE because they didn't have that one. But yeah. Way prettier than that big silver monstrosity. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Jeff getting it, it was, I mean, that wasn't even like surprising. That was like, that was just so due. Yeah. And he pinned Edge, which is like all the stuff they went through. Oh, yeah. Like, I mean, if he pinned H, it would have probably meant more because, I mean, H, H could have actually lost a match, but. Yeah, agreed. But the history they had made that worth it. Everything he did before then, I wish he would have had. Again, I wish he was Matt back when he had that ladder match with Taker because we all believed he could have done it back then when he was still old. Like, we didn't know how screwed up he was because we were, what, teenagers then? Yeah. 
Like yeah, we didn't understand how screwed he was. Different time, you know, there were dirt sheets, but there yeah. was social media. It wasn't, wasn't nearly as bad as yeah, it, was. it wasn't as big with social media yeah. either. You know, like that was like closed doors kind of crap. Yeah. Like, social media was just getting going. Like you didn't know about it. Really hush hush when there were issues. Yeah. Um, like, for example, business. I mean, all the issues that, uh, you know, Xbox had, you know, you never heard of it. You know, all this yeah, stuff. All, you never, you never heard of all the issues until now that there's so many media outlets that yeah. are digging this stuff up, and you're like, really, he had that problem? Like, yeah, I mean, like, now, you can never tell in the ring. Yeah. It wasn't like yeah. the British bulldog when he came back after, for some reason, they had a damn doorknob sticking up in the middle of the damn ring, and he broke his back. That whole sting thing, like whatever the hell, yeah. paper that wasn't WCW, and he came back to WWE, and you're all like, even as a kid, you're going. He's not necessarily all there. Jeff, you can never tell. Yeah. But now, you know. like when TNA first started out, I, yeah, and bound I for was, glory. And I was what yeah, when I was watching TNA at the time, you, you then I'm like, okay, this guy's got some issues. Like he bound was, for glory against Sting. Like he was yeah, like just, he was in a zombie mode for so wow. much of that. Like while he was waiting to go to jail, like they, they let yeah, him go like in he, there and he, he didn't care. He almost botched a lot of crap yeah, i mean he didn't care wrestle that, if you can wrestle that messed up i mean you one you've got talent don't get me wrong without hurting someone but you got a that's problem just that's not yeah you agreed um so, so, that, so that rolls me into the next one um the one that really really i believe probably had one of the the biggest pops ever wrestlemania 30 orton batista and brian that one there because the, that didn't that surprise me though <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, it was nice to have Brian face Hunter to actually earn the spot, and really, I mean, just yeah, building that. It, it felt it felt good because of what story was built behind it. Honestly, that and that's you know, you know, the yes movement, all that stuff. You know, just a, a good a good old fashioned story build up is what made it me appreciate it a lot. You know, it was a long time coming. A lot of people, you know assume that it was going to happen but it still felt it was still a feel good a feel good moment it was but again we all saw it coming but i mean it was one of the best title and and that was one of the best things ever and they did them a disservice by having them go on after yeah that whole whole thing um but and it was so needed too like it was a different time like yeah. It was his time to get it. No offense to everyone else, but he was like, they should have done it to a lot more people. Like Rusev should have got one. Yeah. Bray should have had it longer than 10 seconds to lose to Randy at Mania so that Randy could lose to Ginger. He could have had Bray beat him and then, you know, build a little bit more before he lost to Ginger. Like there were so many, but I was okay with it. Like it was just, about he was, he was when he to me that was an about time thing like jeff we knew there's all kinds of demons like sooner or later you figure it out when you see him at yeah, tna but, and I stuff mean, you're all like i mean Ew. just but, but the reaction from the crowd i mean new orleans is new orleans you know what i mean like uh you know some some of these shocking title wins also i take in consideration of the reaction with the crowd though too yeah so. but they knew it was gonna happen though they were just waiting yeah. like that was a cake I mean, but, just i mean they they tore it they tore that place down with so much noise that was when the poor happened. souls and like Nagasaki and Hiroshima looking up going, ah, like that was pretty much that whole entire time. You're just waiting for one, two, <laughs> like all hell. Like that was just, yeah. They couldn't have said no. Once the, the main event match, was set the match, and they the put him in there were, anyway. Yeah. The match yeah, overall the, though really, really kept you on your seat. It was a really well, good match. It reminded me though of like, like they kind of stole it out of like, Foley and Taker. Well, we're rolling him out. No, look, he, I'm sitting there. He's going to roll. Off. Like, I knew it was coming. Like, wait, he's getting off. Oh, look, he's fun. like, that doesn't, I didn't see that a few years ago. I mean, it was a lot more than a few, but like, or, they stole a bunch of that off. It was a good moment, but I saw it coming. Me, like, I knew they weren't getting out of that building. The Superdome was going to look like it did after Hurricane Katrina was done with it. If yeah. he did not leave that building, especially after what they pulled about an hour before that, yeah, I mean, but he just did not win. There was, there was. I mean, every everything that they built behind that. I mean, we knew it, it was, was coming, but you know, I knew it was coming. again, it a, good, to me. 
Uh, I mean, it, it does to me. I mean, it's very good home feel, you know, fuzzy, great. Or fuzzy kind of. It was, but it wasn't surprising or shocking. Like, once it was all what? Once Batista won and he got booed out of the damn building? Like, well, that reaction. Okay, what? Damn. Like, once, like, he came out and, like, wasn't Brian, like, not even involved in that rumble? And he got booed, though. Like, it was a sustained, like, 10-minute go yourself once Batista came out and it wasn't Brian. Like, it was guaranteed that man was going somewhere because that pissed off. I mean, Vince is kind of smart enough to go. Oh, there ain't one person sure. Yeah. Then we get to Rock. Oh, okay, what? Go, go. He's just trying to save his tail there. but So to you, yes. To me, if they didn't do that, that building was burning to the ground. That was like when Axel said, eh, it didn't shit me. My voice isn't feeling it and didn't save the day when James Hetfield lit himself on fire in Detroit. Next thing you know, the building, like, seats are getting ripped up, fires are lit, all hell's breaking loose. Like, that would have been one of those to me. Or maybe I just knew it was going to happen and it had no touchy feeling because the damn thing went until 1.30 in the morning. Oh, By yeah. that point, I had my meds in my system and I was leaning against the countertop in the kitchen going, mm-hmm. let's just go to bed. Oh, yeah. I didn't watch six and a half hours of this to go to bed. I mean, drugs do make a difference. Sleeping, the only sleeping pills that put me out. I get tranquilized every night. But that point, like if they made everyone sit around and wait for that long and then he didn't win, Especially after Taker lost. I mean, what do you think that guy would have? What do you think he would have done? He would have died right there on the spot if Daniel didn't win. Poor soul. I wonder what he's doing now. He better have made a t-shirt. Better have copyrighted his face. Be selling t-shirts from that. Everyone that watches wrestling in WrestleMania would buy a shirt with his. Like WWE can't copyright his face. Vince can try. I'm pretty sure he would actually lose that one battle in court. Like it, but it's his face. Damn it. He's that, Vince, but but he's not I own your face level. True. But uh another another shock. Um Paige's debut. That was great. See? See, that we didn't was see like, that coming. No one saw all. that coming. Like, hi, boom. Yeah. What the f- just happened? It and was amazing. Was youngest. She was like 12 years old. She's in her as well a bit. 19 or 20. Yeah, she was wrestling years. She was a I baby. Mean, Except all the years she had, like with her parents thing and all that, before that, she had more experience before she got to the WWE. Oh, yeah, and Raquel I mean, has all together. Yeah. I mean, she started 15, 16 yeah. years. Like she had so many years. She's like, there. She's, like she's like the Rey Mysterio. <laughs> Or the oh. Hardys lying about their ages, yeah. Oh, yeah, true. But, yeah, like those people, like they started, like... 12, 13, 14. That's why she got it. Like, that's why... Because she was that good. She was ready for it. I mean, yeah. maturity-wise, I mean, with everything that came out after that, I mean, Brad Maddox, I mean, she tell she wasn't, like, mature ready for it, but ring-wise and mic wise she was ready. Yeah. And it was the perfect person to take out AJ after the run yeah. AJ was on. I loved and AJ. It, and it was, I thought AJ was definitely, great. Yeah, I mean, I I didn't I didn't expect that, but I mean, AJ was the perfect person to to do it with. She was like that was perfect. Like they couldn't have done that. She was the perfect person for the perfect person. Yeah, to have that happen. So I can't complain about any of that. That was like <laughs> right. And then she you're like, hmm. uh, okay. Uh, that like, escalated it, quickly. Yeah. <laughs> like that like that was perfect that one that was still one of my favorite moments because it was well like you didn't you saw her come out you're like okay then like oh damn okay uh what do i do with my hands if it just got dimmer in here i don't know if it did but that's because daisy just decided to cover three quarters of the light with one paw because she likes to sleep with her face directly in the lights for some reason. So, I don't know, anywhere else in the room where there's zero light, like there or there 
or there, or here, or there. She goes and puts like, yeah. But that was a perfect person for the perfect time, and then it led into what it did mania the next year, I believe. Yep. And that was the last time I really saw it. It's it, it really it's really sucked what happened to her with her injury and stuff like that. I, I really wasn't that a Sasha thing. I think so. If you saw the way I threw that. That was the answer to the question. Yeah. How many people? I mean, how many times did she physically do that to Paige? Yeah. I hope she has a Brian thing where they're all like, "What? We're kidding? What? You're good." Like, I hope there's one of those because I really she, do. I mean, she was way too good and talented at such a young age and built like that's all she knew. Like, yeah, like it was a damn shame to see it go the way it did. Like, full fledged, never mind. This is just a fan. This is an analyst. Like, this is full fledged fan for how the young she was. Yeah. To see everything that she did from NXT to where she got there to how different she was. I mean, she was not a Vince yeah. like prototype. I did, I did enjoy, I did enjoy the movie. It was, I didn't watch it. It was, it was really good. I can't even get through like I, I'm so far behind on everything. It hurts. Uh, but like, she wasn't the typical WWE either. No, like no. nowhere near. She was the polar opposite. And she's still in that point and did like in the position and given it and did so. Cause she was that good. So yeah, like it was just a damn shame to see it go the way it does. So hopefully no. another, she gets another a second coming. Another another one that got me excited. I wouldn't say it's shocking, but I mean, it really it, it really got me like. Well, you said Brian like, was shocking, so I mean, yes. I'm just devil's advocating here. So let's carry on. Um, when Rollins cashed in at WrestleMania 30. Yeah, that was amazing. Like no one, like yeah. I, I mean, it's not shocking, but like ex- exciting because you're like, Roman's gonna lose. Thank you, God. We're not gonna shove it down our throats anymore, and just it really yeah, but- launched. It really launched Seth as a heel. Um, I mean, I he wasn't know, ready though. If I recall correctly, Daniel Stevens is I'm wrong, but we were really yeah. just plain excited that I mean, most he wasn't of the time ready when, though. When, when people cash in, they win, and it was wrong. He wasn't respect. ready. No, he wasn't. Oh, I mean, with the situation he was put in, he really, he, he really, he evolved really quick. Like you couldn't even like finish sentences. Like he was not. I know ready but, like a, but the, but the story the storyline situation don't care and really helped the story was great he was still crippling people he couldn't and then and then, like he was just literally doing that through some words because he could like he he was not ready dean was more ready but he wasn't all flashy and willing to play the game so he didn't get it Dean was more ready. I mean, look how many years Dean, look how many crazy state matches he was in. Who'd he hurt? Who did Seth cripple? Everyone. I mean, he killed Finn's career. Pretty much. I mean, look what Finn did until he was NXT champion. He, and he got that because someone got hurt. I mean, he killed that career. Uh, Sting, need I say more? Ask John Cena's nose how he felt about Seth back then. Who cares about John Cena's nose? Did you see it? From someone that's had their nose actually physically put back together from stuff like that? I care about John Cena's nose because that sucks. You know when your sinuses are clogged and you want to just blow your nose and get it all gone? Think about that for three weeks when you can't. You know, miserable we all are when we're sick for like three days like that? Think about a month. We were just... Can't blow my nose. Can't click, but you're just stuck. Like you're just saline dripping. It's all you can do. try to ho- douche it out of your nose. I'm sorry, but I felt bad for John Cena's nose because I know exactly how much that officially sucked. Now I would have killed him. Like well, knowing what I know time, now. At the, time, like, at the time, I did not care about John Cena. So. Me neither. But I mean. Brock is out there legitimately mauling people, and he's been known for being extremely stiff. How many people did he hurt? Let's keep counting. Oh, wait. Seth took out like three people in like five months. He wasn't ready yet. How many people did Dean hurt? Or, I don't know, Nick? Nick and Edge, look what they were doing to each other. Hell, Edge and the Dudleys, the Hardys, like, how many times did they get hurt and they couldn't get back up? 
And they were spearing each other from like 20 feet in the sky. They didn't kill each other. Seth took out more people than they did in their TLC matches, for the love of God. By the third one, they were literally just trying to kill each other. That was it. Spearing them when he's hanging on to the belts, trying to kill each other. Here comes Rhino and Lita and Spike's, like Spike. How many injuries did they have compared to Seth Rollins in that run? Oh, wait. They didn't have none. Hey, they weren't, no one's perfect. They weren't real. Three. Like if it wasn't for Nia, look how many things we could have won for Sasha. Paige would probably still be wrestling. Like, you know what? One mistake is way too many. Look how shitty d feels. I know. And Draws is paralyzed, and they didn't even do anything wrong. Like, they landed that one really, really good compared to most. I'm sorry, but, like, nope, don't get a pass. He wasn't ready, he couldn't talk, and he was crippling people. Roman wasn't ready either. But Dean was probably the most ready because he had the most experience, and he got thrown on the back burner. And he didn't hurt nobody. Even in CZW, where they were hitting each other with light tubes and all kinds of stuff, they weren't crippling each other. And they were literally out there trying to kill each other. Just watch the wrestler. You'll see those great matches and the famous people in that thing. It's just blood and guts. He wasn't hurting people then. I know. Well, this was going to be a short episode. It was. Seth wasn't ready. He wasn't ready by, not yet by a long shot. Quote Stone Cold. Sorry. See? That's what I'm here for. To be disgruntled and get tangents. He wasn't ready. Still good moment. Oh, was it? Hey, CB, you said he was ready. The moment? That was one of those, like, no, he's not. No, he's not. No, he... Like, I was even excited, and I hated the little bugger. But to say he was ready, he was not ready. And that's just made for one of those get the out of here moments, which is what we miss in wrestling. We're like, real, we're all going. Yeah, agreed. Like, no, he's not. Like, God damn. Like, no one saw that coming. So I'll give you that, but ready. He wasn't ready. Go back and watch him. Ooh, yeah. When he's out there trying to talk on the mic next to you know Kane. Ooh, yeah. But look where he is now. If some of these people weren't fed to the hounds, who would know? Can we not talk about people that were in like you're talking about Seth, thank God beating Roman, and we're talking about hounds. Right after he finally got rid of the music from the hounds. Hey. Full circle. Don't you pun me. I'm the punny one. At least if we're talking about someone that has a certain flair about them. I'm not talking about Rick. Love that guy. He put in the work. He earned it. And I don't like his car shield commercial, but. No, me neither. I mean, but he does punch what's his face? LA Knight in the teeth. Like, how bad is L.A. Knight? What they put him in his... Like, he, no one even... Done. Yeah. That, not so much they care about him, but... Surprising? Yes. Was he ready? Hell no. Was he even close to, like, we're never going to know what's going to happen? Hell no. He wasn't even ready for that. Cena, like... He had ruthless aggression, and then it all died down. He didn't just suddenly, hey, you're champion. Like, he died down. Everyone almost forgot about him. Stephanie was all hanging out on, you know, like, Halloween. He's dressed up as Vanilla Ice, of all things, rapping. It's just how much stereotypical can we get? Oh, when, well, when isn't Stephanie Mann all hanging out there? Hasn't been as bad as since she was GM. When it was no. GM, it was bad. <laughs> like, they had shots of her just, you know, the first shot there, she's all she was just staring right at ass. I mean, like they went out of their way to do that, but she was in a witch's outfit. I'm pretty sure Bischoff made out with her that night too, but wasn't ready. This is why Cena needed. (laughs) But that's why Cena needed a few things. Might never got a title, but damn. (laughs) Like what? The Antichrist. What? That's what. That was real life, and they were together. But that is what the Antichrist. That that 
That would you would create it right there. Bischoff yeah. and a McMahon having a kid. That would be the Antichrist. <laughs> That's one of those things. It does make you do that. Yeah. So that brings me to the last one I should have made a prop bet on. WrestleMania 32. Intercontinental title match. Zach What's this nuts? Ryder. Zach yep. Ryder. Like Whatever the hell he's known by now. Matt Cardona. Yeah, I saw that. Like I saw that he had the internet champion, like with the new name. I was like, just bruh. It was like, hey, Vince. That was like, the thing. like when me and Dan Stevens get together and watch pay per views, we'll write a list down who we think is going to win and stuff like that. Everyone picked everyone else. I picked Zach Ryder, and what the hell? I could have made money. If it helps, I was still married. I didn't get to watch all the time. I just saw who's going to be in it and said, I just, eh, at least I know it's not going to suck. Just, that was it. Then that I come to find out somebody, somebody made a monster bet on Zack Ryder and won lots of money, and that just made me more angry. Well, if it helps, I'm in North Carolina, and the only thing I could do is uh, daily sports bets. I can't actually hit any of those actual other bets to make – so all you people in fun states can make money. I can't. Thanks, bring, North bring Carolina. Wire, wire me something. I can throw it on one of the gambling things and yeah. – Apple Pay. Who the hell is wiring people stuff? Apple Look, Pay. You know what I meant. I can Apple Pay you like, yeah. Done. Except knowing my luck. I'd, like, come on. Last year, Pocono. I don't remember which race. DraftKings picked six people. I picked four of the top five finishers. And the other two I picked were also in the top 10. They were the only two people that wrecked out of the race because they wrecked into each other trying to go around some guy on the, first, on the front straightaway. I don't know if you've ever been to Pocono. The front straightaway is about 17 mile, like, w- lanes wide. And they managed to run into each other and wreck each other. So I had four of the top five. Those two were in the top, but I had six of the top 10. And I ended up making 17 cents off of four out of the top five finishes. I don't like... Not on a three dollar bet, it isn't. Spend three, get seventeen cents. Like, because the other two people are the only two people that wrecked out of the whole race, and they wrecked each other on a straightaway. That's legit. I think actually nine lanes wide. Like, that's why I don't make those bets because I would like something stupid would happen. Like there'd be a rain delay and some like or start pouring and someone slip off of something and. Uh, yeah. So like someone like we'd have like an Umberto Carrillo laying around. Uh, him there'd be Kyoto going like you're winning now no and Creo can't get up Seamus wins <laughs> hey but yeah but that was a good list Jeff was my favorite that? so Jeff's still my favorite though yeah because that was just he finally was at least semi clean and he got down with the jail thing. Yeah. He came back. Um, but just all the matches and like, look at all the other ones. I mean, Seth, yeah. nothing. He still sucks. Great character. Just that run, he wasn't ready. They were forcing it with the whole authority and just making everything about him. And look, most of those, like an hour of those shows were kind of like Charlotte now. Like an hour of the shows were the authority and them talking and Seth just standing there looking stupid. And Noble and Mercury just getting mauled. But they were doing they were doing their job by pissing us off. I mean, if you're they're getting doing, a rea- they were doing getting, their job and killing the if ratings. You're, if you're if you're getting a reaction, yeah, the re- they're getting a reaction. Except their reaction was that was the first time they went, oh, look at our ratings, because they didn't just like fall off. They tanked. They plummeted. They were almost non-existent. The ratings went booze really fast. It went like no. It was kind of like everything they did with Roman. No one watched it. I'm pretty sure there was time where you were just like me and you watched the pre-show before the pay-per-view. Like, that's going to happen. This is going to happen. That's going to happen. Then you watch the pay-per-view going, da 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 And I didn't have to waste my life with any of that because it was that predictable and that garbage. And that's when it really, that was one of those points where it's like, well, what the hell is the point? We know what's going to happen. And guess what? We knew it happened without ever watching a damn thing. That was bad. What's best for business? People were still showing up live. Their TV ratings sucked. Yeah. The capital S and a lot of you sucked. It was a waste of time. And I want to do a quick honorable mention. Um, 
WrestleMania 20, we all know the two that won the prospective titles. I just want to keep it at that. I don't want to go into too much detail, um, considering that's one of the episodes is going to be uh, Best of Eddie. So I kind of want to save that. And, and obviously, I don't want to mention them, but you know, one episode is going to be the Best of Eddie. Well, you might as well mention it then, moron. I don't want to mention any names, but one of them is going to be the best of Eddie. So what you're saying is Eddie with the undisputed title. Yeah. And the other guy. And then uh, Daniel's, not Stevens, but Daniel's dad. Woman's husband. See, I didn't mention any names. See, that's how you do that. You don't go and mention the guy's first name. Three seconds. I don't want to mention anything, but best of Eddie. And that was a good pay per view, regardless across the board. Like that. Oh media. yeah, WrestleMania twenty was one of mine. It was great. It was so yeah. that was a good. Yeah, night. over overall A plus. That was, that. Yeah, over across the board, no one had anything to complain about. Yeah, like, everyone always has little, but it was always little things. Like no one had anything going. Like Are you yeah. kidding me? No one left that place wanting to burn the garden down. Yeah. And we got a great entrance from Taker. I was making sure no one's breaking and I'm sitting there talking to you and I see just my peripheral Daisy's head popped up just like Taker's just Ooh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. either something's coming through the door and we're all gonna die or she's out of her mind. Or both. Knowing Daisy? No. Yeah. yeah, that was a good list. And again, one day. You gotta find the time, but it's really a tiny thing. Let me start. I see it whenever this like actually takes off. And more viewers, more sponsors, shirts, like all that, and you don't have to work anymore. One day, you know, eons down the road. I'd like to literally just be doing this with you. This is like legit dream. The one like where we could be like mania is coming up, but we could do the countdown, the road to mess WrestleMania like they do. Is if we can yeah. actually sit down and we just watch all the manias and then go over them. Like, and that's just it. Like, I think that would be just the greatest thing ever. Yeah. We go through all the fast lanes on the way to fast lane, go through all the manias on the way to mania, and just, like, I think that'd be kick ass. That would. Like, all your money, like, because who doesn't want to talk about all that stuff? And there was some dumb in the beginning of WrestleMania, but I mean, they didn't know what the hell they were doing. Like, how do you put that together? Throw everything at the wall and see when what they were able to wing. When balls. they were able to wing it, make it work, and yeah. actually get good reactions. Yeah, like, but they had the balls to do it. Which you know, now some of the stuff we saw in recent years, like who, who can forget Mike Tyson and DX, quickest jab ever. Yeah, thank God he pulled back. Like, how do you know? Because Sean got back up I mean, at some even, point. Even even crazy stuff like Big Show. Sumo wrestling. Big Show losing to Floyd. Just that too. I mean, no, but no, still, Big like, Show, you didn't have your moment. It's like, dude, I fought Floyd Mayweather. I fought Aki Bono. Like, where were you, Cody? Oh wait, nowhere. Like, Show had lots of stuff, but yeah. that's for another day. That was a good one, though. Again, Jeff always has a special place in my heart. Yeah, same here. I'd like to go to that tattoo parlor in Cameron. It's not that far away. The him, Shannon, like all of them are there. Like, like I'd like to go there. Hi. What do you want? I don't know. What do you want to give me? Are you sure you're going to charge me this much? Like, I know how much you're making in the WWE. So, how about... An autograph? Permanently inked? That'd probably be the most cost-effective. Just, you just ta- tattoo my arm. You know, sign it and then tat it in and what? I'll give you like, they go for about 40 bucks, what, 30 bucks at signings. I'll give you 40 to tat it on. Like, this, like that's with a picture and you sign it, that's 30 bucks. Like, you don't even need a picture. It's done. Yeah. But, yeah, Jeff will always have that special place. And again, like, if you never watched his, like, ladder match with Taker, go watch it. 
Yeah, that is by far one of my top favorite matches. Like, ever. Look yeah. at all the matches we've seen. Like, Taker was so giving in that match. Yes, he was. To someone that was, I mean, no offense to Jeff at that point, but he was nowhere near, like, you know. Him and Matt weren't at main event, like, crazy level. And what, and yeah. Taker wasn't doing ladder matches. Like, <laughs> Taker in a ladder match? What the? You talk. How many did he do? Not very many. He did that one. It was glorious, and they tore the house down on Raw. So if you never yeah. saw it, please do yourself a favor. Do me a favor. Do Justin and Miller. Do the world a favor. Watch that damn match. Because that was one of the greatest things ever, really. I mean, just for how much faith. I mean, Taker had to be the one. Like, he had to have faith to do it. Yeah. Like, yeah, what? Well, I trust you, kid. Like, that – like, he had enough faith to have that involved. Because, you know, Taker wasn't taking those. I mean, he really yeah, wasn't. Yeah, true. I mean, it really takes a lot to get the get the nod, get the approval of the yeah. Godfather. Especially, like, being a ladder match if he thinks you're all. Like, yeah. I mean, that says enough about it right there, and it's one of the best things you'll ever see. I don't even know if it's on Peacock. I don't know. I, last time I was on Peacock, I know they were just I'm starting. I'm sure it's probably on YouTube. And they didn't have – way better than Peacock. Yeah. No offense to Peacock. My pay-per-view experience for Mania was way better than it ever was on the network. So don't sue me. I don't know what you're going to sue me for. But don't do it. But that was fun. Next time we get together, we'll talk about something. Let's give them something to talk about. I've talk got, about I've love. Got, love. I've got yeah. nine more episodes worth. Shooby dooby dabby dooby. Uh, Step brothers. But until the next time, I am in neck pain. And I am Justin. We'll go with that. See? See? He's not balding anymore like last night. Until next time, my friends, watch the damn match and peace.